Avengers Gamerverse Hulk No. 1 was published two days ago with this impressive cover of the Hulk Smash. I reviewed the first issue of this run which featured Thor fighting the Hulk under the magic of Loki, and I leave an annotation for those who have not watched it yet. The events of this story take place before the Marvel's Avengers game. The book opens with the Hulk being restrained in the S.H.I.E.L.D. lab and security facility. They are making tests to understand how the transformations are triggered. With numbing mist and classical music, Dr. Monica managed to revert the Hulk back to Bruce Banner. Banner revealed that he spent a lot of time with Monica sharing long conversations about the gamma radiation, and they eventually became close to each other. Monica then suggested that they can edit the gamma-mutated cells in Banner's body, which means that he can retain all the power of the Hulk, but none of the rage. Banner, however, said that no one can tame the Hulk. He has tried to do that before, but failed. He then said that they either work together to finish the Hulk, or he is done with these useless experiments. On his way out, Banner met another scientist whose name is George, who told Banner about his theory regarding magnifying energy at molecular levels. George wanted answers from Banner, who apologized and said that he needs a couple of weeks to think it over. The scientist, however, did not want to wait for another two weeks to get Banner's answers, and decided to run the experiment himself. He started electrical array to magnify the energy, but the experiment went wrong, and the electrical surge hit the security guards. Their bodies merged with the electricity which became alive, and formed the monster known as Zax, who tossed Banner into the room where Monica was testing the Hulk's transformations. Monica then contained Zax, but the unit could not hold the monster. Zax broke free and grabbed Banner from his head, with the electricity hitting every cell in his body, and triggering a transformation into the Hulk. Banner said that he should be dead by now, but the Hulk won't let him die. Hulk attacked Zax and they both smashed their way out of the facility. Zax tossed the Hulk away, but the Hulk retaliated by hitting Zax with an electricity pole. Banner says that the Hulk is a monster of instinct and does not understand what this energy is. But he can tell that the water disturbs it, which actually makes no sense at all. Because if Hulk cannot understand what energy is, then he definitely will not realize that water would disturb it. He smashed the wooden harbor beneath Zax, and they both fell into the water, where Zax exploded. Banner then woke up to find himself surrounded by Monica and the police. Later on, the news reported that the fight between the Hulk and Zax resulted in electricity shortage across the entire northeastern seaboard, with related damages that could top $120 million. The news reported that Tony Stark, who came to check on Banner in the hospital, has promised that he will assist with re-establishing the power networks and the cleanup efforts. In addition to comics, Zax has been featured in cartoon and even in the 2003 Hulk film, when Banner's father gained absorbing powers, reminiscent of the absorbing man, and at one point became a creature composed of electricity, reminiscent of Zax. Hope you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.